Okay, okay. It's okay. getting recorded. Okay. Well, uh, you can see, like it is, it is the case. Is it's like showing whether people are wearing mask or not. Okay. Uh, people who are not wearing a mask, it shows a uh, red color. Let me play that video again, or let me show you another video probably. Uh, I can show you some uh, videos so you guys can understand how things were used to work or how things works. Okay, this one probably. I think I'm playing same video again and again. Uh, let me let me find some some feed for you guys. Okay, so I, I in the in the meanwhile I can show you some feed and all those. Uh, also, I can share some of uh, use cases or some of the things on which we guys are working nowadays. Uh, yesterday, I was having conversation with Deeraj and some of his friends. They were interested to, they were you know asking me to share some real time projects. Okay, uh, what project? I'm working nowadays in my company and all that. And uh, I see Dheeraj and his team was quite, you know, uh, quite uh, dedicated to arrange all these type of webinar and all that. So I am sharing all those things. Uh, I am sharing all those things due to their enthusiasm and their, you know, uh, request and all. So you, ca you can see my screen now. Uh, we did this project. Uh, so there is one electronics company, uh, there is one electronic manufacturing company in Pune, in Bosri MIDC, and they guys are manufacturing PCBs. They guys are manufacturing different, different types of electronics boards, component mounted on it, ICs mounted on it. In the second, uh, in the second image, if you can see we were able to identify whether soldering has been done properly or not. Okay. So we used one shot learning in order to understand whether image has been, you know, properly, uh, whether the image which is coming in front of us and that has IC, that IC has been properly soldered or not. Okay. And we just did, we did this project with the help of, you know, seven to eight images. I mean, we were not required. It was earlier required that we were used to, uh, computer vision systems or deep learning, uh, systems were used to require thousands of thousands of thousand images. And after that, it was used to learn, but nowadays it become very smart that, uh, like age of age of that child or age of that computer vision system is uh, becoming more or that's becoming more mature. So he just learned things by, you know, just watching once or twice or probably say at, at uh, very, very frequently. So we did this type of soldering. Uh, we, we, we did the identification. Uh, so earlier in the company, there were used to be some people or there were used to be some, uh, people who were used to, you know, identify whether soldering has been done properly or not. But nowadays we have replaced that person. We have saved the cost of company and our computer vision system can identify whether soldering has been done properly or not. Okay. We can identify whether component is been bent or not. We can identify whether comp component has a scratch or not. As you can see here, 
uh, the measurement and detections of the components you can see so this capacitor is been not properly soldered or not been mounted on the uh, was not mounted properly on the pcb so we you know on the assembly line we just mount one camera and that camera was giving just live feed of all those things to the main server and server were able to or cloud were uh, all those server were you deployed on the cloud and that was able to give a real time feed whether co components are been mounted well or not so this is one of interesting use case of computer vision uh okay moving forward to our presentation moving back to our presentation uh, you guys can see my screen now how facial recognition system work well uh, in the in the face recognition system uh, you take one image someone photo you extract all the facial data you can you know you that facial system create different different points on your face okay you just that that just took your photo after that on that 3d plane or on that 2d plane it created different different points and it create it created different different like 127 points and from all those points it extract the facial data and it saves somewhere in the database and whenever next time you come in the front of that camera or that system it you know compare a previous data to the upcoming data if that matches that identifies boss face has been recognized make sense uh computer vision in agriculture in the lot many farms a uh, lot many things are there has been uh, lot many applications are there where uh, people are using computer vision in order to you know track different different types of uh, things uh, in order to monitor the animal in order to uh, check the check the farm automation and all those things we can use computer vision uh, we use for crop monitoring yeah computer vision has been used uh, nowadays you can you know take the single image of uh, image of yes you say uh, any tree or any leaves or any like uh, and you can you know check the health of that particular crop whether that crop is healthy or not if say you have a farm of cotton crop and you have to identify the health of all those crop by their you know by just uh, taking their pictures you can do it easily with help of uh some you know pre recorded data and lot many apps are available there by using those you can check how how things are working okay so this one was more or about the application now let's let's uh turn how one can learn computer vision in 2022 well these are my ways or these are you can you can say these are my suggestion to learn computer vision okay in order to learn a computer vision i think you should learn you should choose a one programming language if you can choose a python as your uh, python uh, as your language nothing like it because python has a strong community support python has a strong community support python uh, python you know python is a strong community support it's easy to learn <clears throat> lot of things are already been developed in the python <clears throat> so you don't need to find lot of things out there uh, it's it's quite uh, easy to debug your code as well so i most of i mean i will recommend you to start with python at the initial after getting a good amount of confidence after having a comfort around python you can go for the other languages like c++ or you can try with some some other languages probably like julia or r okay
so guys if you can see my screen after learning python you guys should learn the basics of statistics uh, you will ask that why statistics is required because uh, if you want to be the good computer vision engineer you should have a strong mathematical foundation until and unless you have a strong mathematical foundation uh, it will be like quite hard okay it will be like quite hard to deal with deal with computer vision complex problems you can do all those basic things but in order to be the solid engineer in order to be the understand problems from the basics you have to understand statistics after completing python and statistics you guys can straight away move to the image classifications problem using machine learning uh you know you 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 you, you can take some courses out there uh courses i can share with you uh with you guys here in this slide uh there are some courses like introduction to computer vision by udacity offered by georgia tech one of uh, recommended course this course is uh, completely free if you want certification you can pay them some uh, in order to get a certification you can pay but this course is one of recommended and this cover this course cover a lot of things out there okay you straight away start from the introduction then you go with the basics of image processing from image processing to image features lightning image classification and all those things you start learning by one by one after completing this course go for the cs231 by stanford university uh, while i was like student like of you guys i did this course uh, back ago 5 years ago but still this course is one of hot course because the content this course has is you know next level <clears throat> you pay 50000 rup rupees to any paid course still you will not get quality like this course okay <clears throat> and one more thing one more uh, thing i would like to you know declare here don't go for <clears throat> paid courses okay in order to be a good engineer in order to be the good computer vision engineer you will find all the resources available at free of cost only thing is that you just have to get all those resources <clears throat> in particular direction in particular manner okay after learning python you will go for the open cv you will go for the machine learning tools uh, machine learning algorithms after that you can learn open cv after you know having a good confidence with open cv you can straight away switch to the tensorflow and that's how you can learn lot many things out there don't you know uh, waste your father's money or don't waste your parents money to you know paying to any online courses or something like that that's not recommended one more thing you can you know by doing online courses and all those things you can learn the basics but after one level after a certain level you have to learn things by your, yourself okay so my recommendation is that uh, there is no point in going with uh, paid courses or something like that just you know utilize free material which is available online okay uh coding and implementation okay after completing some online courses guys uh you can you know you can go for the some implementation you can you know practice yourself you can check how much things you already learned okay and uh, to be frank guys computer vision is not that much hard but what it takes it takes consistency it takes uh, your curiosity to learn new new things it takes uh, your continuous efforts and dedication in order to learn complex things after learning all those things you will be you you become comfortable with it you guys can straight away start with some competitions okay 
or after doing this much you straight away start by reading research papers you go on github you go on azev uh, arx vi v.org there you will find a lot of research papers are there even you can go on 2 minute research paper.com okay or papers with code papers with code had lot of papers are there which are already available and they are freely available to learn all those things okay and uh, lot many resources are available you guys can see my screen uh, dheeraj can you see my screen of uh, paper with code dheeraj are you there uh sorry uh, can you repeat again can you please see my screen yes sir i can i can see your screen Tap. okay so here you can see in the on the on the website called paper with code you will find what is trending okay what's 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 hot topic in the ai what is what, what what's hot topic in computer vision and that's how you know you can learn lot many things out there you see this repo has 2502 star and this is about mask auto encoders as scalable vision learners so here you can see what's what's going on in the field right now what's hot topic so this is good resource in order to learn in order to uh, maintain yourself in the field okay and uh, competitions okay after learning this much i think everyone should you the data uh, data scientist or anyone who is you know explaining computer vision he should at least try some you know trying to compete with kaggle competition once okay kaggle is very very good resource uh, here you can see kaggle is kaggle is having their own free courses okay kaggle is having their free courses on python introduction to machine learning pandas intermediate machine learning advanced sql they are having their course on computer vision and their computer vision course is one of uh, you know good course in the industry okay can you guys see it one of one of good, re good resource to learn things out there uh this is about their learning resources but what about you know competitions so kaggle has lot of ongoing competitions okay if you can solve their one challenge okay you can create a good amount of money okay so feedback prize evaluating so there is one competition going on feedback prize evaluating student writing okay and if you can you know uh solve this problem so probably you can get 1 lakh 60000 us dollar which is quite good money uh for this competition well okay lot many competitions are ongoing on the kaggle platform you guys can see if you can solve this problem uh you will be getting 1 lakh 60000 us dollar which becomes uh if you convert that money into indian rupees that come near around uh, 75 plus uh, 35 one till that comes around 1 crore uh, 20 lakhs that value becomes around and uh, i mean trust me guys you guys can also solve those types of challenges okay but in order to solve all those challenges you have to you know develop a good resources you see uh, how these guys are going to evolve all those things i mean whatever the uh, solutions you are going to so submit here they guys are what are the their evolution methodologies what will be the timeline in order to submit this competition answer what are the prizes the first person who will be uh, okay Prize money is one lakh sixty thousand. First money will first person will be getting forty thousand. Second person will be getting thirty five thousand. Six person, okay. If you want won the competition, all of you are going to get. Uh, most of you are going to get five thousand five thousand US dollar each, and which become they are having almost five plus twelve seventeen prizes. 
and you see how many people are uh, com competing here 1047 team and at the end of submission guys you will find very few people are able to uh, solve this problem so th this one was about more of the about the kaggle after uh, beating on kaggle and all those things uh, i will strictly i'll be straightforward covering career opportunities in the competitive division Computer vision is very happening field, guys. Today, a uh, lot of jobs opportunities are there. In order to be a good computer vision, you have to have these type of skill sources. You have to under, I mean, you must understand how to develop a algorithm to analyze images. You 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 need to understand how to create a deep learning architect uh, architects to solve the complex problems. Uh, you must understand how to you know create uh, different different types of data data sets how to use a different different types of libraries like how to use opencv when to use tensorflow when to use pytorch all those things you need to understand <coughs> and you guys might have been thinking about how to get a job in this field okay so in order to check the required skill sets let's check it out linkedin okay how many jobs are available there for the computer vision engineer if i just search now you see 23386 jobs are available in the india only for computer vision engineers and one of that job we are taking now how to find a job how to find a job as a fresh in the computer vision you see eligibility is 0 to 3, 0 to 3 years of experience btech in computer science or electronics engineering and uh, added advantages you know deep learning video image processing that's that's good to know and do you know guys how much these guys are gonna pay you okay the average salary is around uh, 8 to 10 lakhs per annum okay this one was about the computer vision engineer if you look for the some other organization they are will be they will be they are going to hire you will get a salaries at least uh above you know above there is no particular standard set or something like that but if you are a good computer vision you can get a salary of say if you're coming from the tier three colleges you can get the salary of say around uh, eight to ten lakhs if you are if you have done good projects if you have uh, done a lot of uh, <clears throat> you know uh, projects and uploaded it on your github page uh, you have written some blogs and all those things you can get anything salary between say 10 to uh, 12 lakhs and if you have a you know really good skill you have competed on kaggle competitions you have good communication skills you have you know a good personality i think uh, there is no there is no limit okay sky is limit at the end of day for the computer vision engineers because this is you know most happening field right now uh post your project right kaggle next portfolio well kaggle is going to be the next portfolio guys in the upcoming time uh, in order to be the in order to join as a computer vision engineer or in order to join companies as a data scientist or ai engineer or whatever they are going to check your Kaggle profile, number one. Second, GitHub profile. Third, LinkedIn profile. So keep updated your LinkedIn profile. Upload as much as projects you can. Uh, it's, it's quite easy to, uh, you know, it's quite easy to deal with LinkedIn. But finding opportunity is easy. But, you know, cracking at one point is going to take a lot of efforts, patience and all those things, okay? With this, I would like to conclude this talk. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for uh, listening to me. I mean, attending this talk. And uh, I would like to take the questions from the audience now. So feel free to, uh, you know, raise your hand or feel free to ask in the chat window. I can answer them one by one. Or you can just, you know, ask to unmute yourself. I can unmute yourself. Uh, I can unmute you. And after that, you can ask me the question.
Okay, someone was asking, was this an was this is an application to reject pieces with the defects on the assembly line of the PCBs? Yeah, it was it was about that. But there is one company called Thuse Electronics in uh, the Pune. They guys are using our this product, and uh, we we have got good good results. Okay, so say on the assembly line, uh, they manufactured say thousand PCBs. Okay. And out of those thousand PCBs, they found that their 50 PCBs are defected. Out of those 50 PCBs, our system can, you know, identify almost 47 defected PCBs. That's what the ratio we got from the company. Any questions? Dheeraj? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Any questions? Anyone would like to say something? Feel free to raise your hand, guys. Uh, I can, I can try my best to answer your questions. Come on, guys. Any more queries or questions? You can just raise your hand, or even you can ask the question in chat itself. You guys can ask your any question here, man. Yeah. And also, one more thing I'll say uh, here, guys. Instead of looking for the job, okay. Or uh, instead of you know just uh, searching better opportunities and all that, I'll recommend you guys to start your own startup. Okay. While I was like you, I worked on different different ideas in my college life only, and uh, in the 2018 I did my bachelor's and it's I started my company in 2020. So working on your own passion, working on your own technological ideas are going to take you somewhere far ahead from rest of the rest of the people. Okay. So I'll recommend you to start working on startup ideas. That's, that's one of my suggestion. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for jobs or something like that, job is going to be the option there at the end of day, but I recommend you to work on startup, startup ideas, uh, look for the different, different uh, challenges, problems, which you guys can solve in the, uh, from the, from the industry. And that's how you can, that's how you get to learn a lot, many things out there. Okay. Uh, any, any question? No questions so far, Deeraj? No, sir. And also I have shared a form before. Uh, which contains some questions. I have also the result access to your mail. You can uh -huh. just, sir, mm -hmm. the, the poll also like responses of the form also you can check it out. I have given access to your mail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you given access to my, okay. We, we can discuss that later on. Okay. Uh, guys, did you like the talk? I mean, you guys just feel free to type in chat box here. Let me know. I mean, was, was it a good talk? Do you learn something new today? Okay. Well, uh, let me know your ideas, suggestion, feedback on my talk today. Okay. Thanks, Bharat. Good to know. Uh, it was good. Well, all those feedback will be coming on, uh, will be shared on the form only and we can, we can, I, I mean, we can see how, how people react on it at the end of the day. Okay. So thank you so much guys, uh, for arranging this, uh, special thanks to Deeraj for inviting me and, uh, you know, uh, putting all those dots together. I wish you all the best for your, uh, bright future guys. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the tech talk. It, uh, like I can see. Uh, we have opened our eyes. There are so many points we don't know which you have covered. There are so many interesting applications which we have seen in this talk. We hope um, we will come up with good ideas and someday we will reach out to you with some suggestions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, most of you are going to be the, I mean, some of you will be, be the computer vision engineer tomorrow. Some of you will become the data scientist. Yes. Some of you will become the uh, machine learning engineer or something like that. And uh, that's how, I mean, you know, that's how you can, I, I can see a lot many of you can be the, be the 
next engineers next game changer next uh, developers yes yeah yeah thank you thank you sir yeah bye bye good night good night sir